The spread of coronavirus. There are four cases now confirmed in Florida, in the Panhandle and the Tampa area, and two cases in Georgia and Fulton County. A dozen people have died in the United States, and several states announced their first positive tests. The Dow Jones dropped nearly 1,000 points today as the outlook for the worldwide outbreak worsens. More than 3,300 people across the globe have died from coronavirus. We saw a lot of people rush to the store last week and then this week stocking up on disinfectant sprays and wipes. Yes, yeah, so they're hoping to keep all those germs away. We always just use the Lysol and the name brands. That's all I know of, yes, sir. The name brands? What would you say if I told you none of these are effective? It would be amazing. Earlier today, the Environmental Protection Agency released this list of products approved to be effective against the latest strain of the deadly human coronavirus. Most disinfectants will kill germs and viruses, including some coronaviruses. But News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet is joining us live in the newsroom with why you've really got to read the fine print, Eric, before stocking up. Yes, you really do. In fact, these three products are uh, disinfectants, legitimate disinfectants that will kill germs and viruses. In fact, uh, this Lysol, this type of Lysol wipe here, uh, will kill human, uh, human coronavirus such as SARS and MERS. But get this, this one, just like these other two, is, is considered ineffective against the latest strain of the coronavirus known as COVID-19. Pat Stack came to this Lowe's Home Improvement store looking for a disinfectant to prevent the spread of coronavirus. She was unaware that some disinfectants are not as effective against the COVID-19. Then we showed her this list of products that have been approved by the EPA as disinfectants that will work on the latest strain of coronavirus. After seeing the list, she knew what to grab off the shelf. You just explained to me about the EPA stuff and then I would never have looked at anything like that before. The left side of the list has EPA registration numbers associated with a specific brand of disinfectant. If the number on the list matches the number on the label of the product, then that particular disinfectant is considered effective against COVID-19. The Lysol Corporation has listed their EP registration numbers on their website. These are all their products that will work against COVID. For example, this Lysol spray has an EP number of 77799, which is on the approved list of effective disinfectants. But these Lysol wipes have an EP number of 77114. That number is not on the list, which means the wipes are not as effective. When I showed other shoppers the same information after asking them if they thought the disinfectants I was holding was effective against COVID-19, the response varied. Was this more of an eye-opener for you? Yes, it was to show us where we need to go and look for the right stuff. Anybody walking in will see something that disinfects, so they're going to think that this is the perfect thing to buy. But unless you really check your website, it's actually kind of it was very misleading. What I talked to you about uh, makes a lot of sense. Now, we have posted that list of effective products along with the EPA registration number on our website, newsforjacks.com. Coming up at 11, if you think people are concerned about coronavirus here in Florida, wait till you hear from two brothers from Manhattan, New York, who just moved here. Uh, it's a really interesting interview on how people are really panicking back in the Big Apple. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.